Participants were off and running as day two of the Rock and Roll Marathon took place today, featuring family fun events for everyone involved. WSAV News 3's Chase Justice has more on the weekend's festivities in tonight's Community Report. The Rock and Roll Marathon's return to Savannah may have started out as a wash, but day two brought on better weather and opportunities for the whole family to get in on the fun. Gosh, the kids had such a great time. Uh, we just had a blast. I am so proud of my uh, three-year-old Juliet. She, she got in first place in the toddler trot, so uh, I'm so proud. Yeah, uh, the staff were amazing. They really just revved up the kids, got them excited and ready to go. Following the cancellation of Saturday's marathon due to inclement weather, Sunday featured a day full of events at Daffin Park. From 5Ks to children's only competitions and races, and even an 80-foot toddler trot inside Grayson Stadium. It's the community in general, um, and then you just have the, the overall environment, the atmosphere, the, the architecture, um, and just the, the really like community feel. Our runners love it. This is the top rated event in our series, so we love being able to showcase you know, Savannah to everybody. Not only were participants excited with how the weekend turned out, many were thankful for the chance to give their kids a glimpse of what the marathon lifestyle is all about. Running is really important in my life. It's uh, helped me to get in shape and be healthy. And I was just thinking about that, about my kids and them participating in a race. It feels like a great opportunity to instill with them habits of health and well-being. Reporting in Savannah, Chase Justice, WSAV News 3, on your side.